Megamax here. So I've got a lot of requests for this video. I do this every year, but I saw a lot of like a ton of creators do it, and uh, I'm like, well, it's cool that I get copied and everything, but uh, it doesn't do as well once it's search, but, but once it's once it's search results are, are, are figured out, and uh, I guess I'll do it again. Not much has changed from last year as far as the, the settings. It's a lot like 23, very similar to last year. Some things that have changed. Um, anyways, I go gameplay style, competitive. I'm on legend right now, but if you're doing like road to the show method or anything, you want to go on like the lowest difficulty and just easily, uh, the road to the show method for XP and stuff, uh, beginner and whatnot, uh, tutorial tips on off your decision. Um, okay. Decisions, auto fielding. I keep everything off because that's what it is online, right? So, um, we're going to go through auto fielding, all these things off infield jump reaction, definitely on. Okay. All right. Defensive auto um, reactions are overpowered. Make sure these things stay on. Um, I'm not sure they reset this in online. I'm not. I don't know, but I, I, you know, keep it on. They're so crazy. I do off for one of relievers because you know that's only for offline play. Online, it's going to keep on. Um, auto defensive shift on. Uh, th so yeah, you're going to have the one relievers online anyways. Auto defensive shift. I keep that on as i think it's better i think you get a slightly more amount of outs you do give up like bigger like you know if someone hits the ball the other way big up big hits but i keep it on rules umpire act this is all offline umpire act actually perfect injuries manual ejections off box off depends on how you want to play if you're more of a sim gamer then you obviously turn these things on um i go perfect i also go check swing appeals off as i feel like it just wastes my time um online you still have check swing appeals sadly so this one's very important for offline grinding CPU pitch delay faster. They get the ball to you quicker. Uh, keep it. Uh, it needs to be faster. Post game auto save on. Player lock game flow. Skip the next appearance. Um, Showtime opportunities. You can go on or, or what off. Like this is for uh, for if you grind, if you roll to the show, and you don't want to do the Showtime opportunities, keep it off. Like this is this is all like generic like offline stuff. We'll go more to like you know hitting and pitching in a second. Player lock base running too. I hate base running. Turn that off. Um, player lock CPU teammate hitting. Uh, it doesn't matter. A uh, half. Um, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah. It only matters with your base running opportunities. Player lock fielding opportunities. None. I also don't like fielding when I'm grinding road of the show. So I turn off all these things. If you like road of the show and you like that immersive gameplay, you turn that stuff on. All right. Control we're on to. Base running input analog select. There are other ones, you know, I, I, I think analog selects the best. Um, L1, R1 stuff is very funky. So oftentimes you just want to select a base runner and then hit what base you want them to go to. So analog selects my choice. Swing input, I do buttons, you know, analog flick, analog stride. I, I think, you know, this stuff too hard. Buttons, hitting interface. Now you can go, this is 100% on you. I'm in zone because I think it's the best. It's also like the hardest to do. Directional, all you got to do is time it at that point. Timing is, uh, I actually don't know what timing is. Directional, I know. Um, yeah, it just, it is what it is. Directional is like the time that I use. So zone, um, off, off, PCI anchor. This one is, a. Uh, uh, some people absolutely love the PCI anchor. I'm one that sits middle and reacts, but a lot of people do um uh, use the pci anchor so pci anchor go watch videos from last year if you want to get that but basically you can anchor your pci in the inside if you want to hit those better and pull and then like some people like you know cbrev like likes anchoring it far away um to give him more control of that area and then it's easier to like bring it back to the middle um i'm off though it's just how i was uh how i was raised playing mlb the show and i haven't adjusted off of it um i think on most game difficult outside of like maybe legend you want to anchor it a little bit to react pitches better but other than that you can go off play coverage indicator i like the pci on the pci being off you know some people think the pci is a little bit of distraction and if it's a distraction i do recommend going off otherwise turn your transparency down um if you get distracted by it so that way you can focus more on the ball because focusing on the ball out of the hand is the most important part of hitting um so it really depends on what you want to do here maybe i'll go down to 60. Uh, but anyways, PCI center. These are all personal feelings on your PCI. I just like the way Diamond Starfighter looks. Um, I think the bat is the new one they added this year. I hope they go more customizable PCI centers. Like I want to hit with like a glizzy out there and stuff. 
Uh, but PCI Center is just like what those little 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 things in the middle, 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 but like the small little things are. I like diamonds. PCI Inner and PCI Outer are your contact and your vision ratings. Um, so PCI inner like starfighter just looks the coolest looks like I'm like I like like one of the old things that you're just focusing on um, So I go starfighter auto I go off. I feel out is a distraction Some people like outer on because it's really big and it feels like it's easier to track a little bit and then uh, Starfighter oh, sorry, then PCI color whatever you want yellow. I feel like yellow stands out a lot um, Some people like you can customize red. I've seen I've seen all different colors, but I like yellow the best PCI fade out I go none I want it on the screen the whole time. Guest pitch off, vibration off for me. Um, defense. I'm using pinpoint, but there's a very good argument that uh, something like analog and pulse are better than this year because pinpoint is glitched. Uh, I go pitch trail. I don't want it fade. I want pitch trail on it the whole time. If you're playing like um, offline against a friend, you probably want this off so they can't see where you're placing the ball. But otherwise, pitch trail, just leave it on the whole time. Uh, that's the best. Throwing interface, button accuracy, actually chevrons on, throw canceling on, drifting ball, two button um, is is nice. That way you can dive or jump depending on what you want to do. Um, you could just have just one button, then you just, you know, RB or right trigger will trigger both of them and CPU will let it go. But I like having the option to go up or sideways depending on what I want to do. RB to climb the wall, right trigger to go sideways to dive for something. Um, I like drifting ball over track ball. I think it's it just makes more sense and it's cooler. Uh, throw cancel, you definitely want that on. Throw cancel with uh, repress the initial button. I think it's, or press new base, but I think it's L1. L1 is what I cancel with this year. Player lock, this is really for uh, uh, road of the show stuff. Player lock, standard, analog. Um, uh, and there we go. All right, camera. Hitting view, it's very important. Your camera is good for your hitting view. Your pitching view doesn't matter whatsoever. I like retro because I get to see the pitches coming into me. So I get to see it when I'm pitching and when I'm hitting. But retro sees more of the field. You can go anything really pitching view. I like You go fisheye. I just like seeing a lot of the field out there. It makes it more cinematic. Obviously, some people really like the, like, the broadcast camera angle. Um, to, to like Basically, you're watching a, a baseball game. Uh, but I do like retro. It's just uh, something I've done for a while. Strike zone high. I think like you want to choose if you want to be good at the game you want to choose between a uh, strike zone strike some of these that are not available online strike zone strike zone two or strike zone high um you could go with other things offset whatever you can do whatever you want it's all it's all what you want but i think my favorite this year is strike zone high um uh, personally all right display and all right off uh, keep these things off, off, off. Take them all off. Dynamic difficulties, updates. Um, I don't use dynamic difficulties, so this doesn't really matter. In-game notifications. I go on. Strike zone on. Hot zones off. Hot zones don't seem to make a difference. They are cool to look at, though. Um, reflect how good it hit a specific pitch location. I'm not sure that means anything in online play. Pitch info. Pitch info on. You definitely want to see your pitch info. Pitch select displays, pitch description, confidence, yes. Pitch feedback, yes. Um, batter controls display, minimal. You can make it uh, bigger to display pitch information. Probably okay, leaving that on. Swing feedback on, definitely off. Make sure this one's default off, I know for sure. Definitely want to make sure this is on. So that way when the ball hits the wall, you know which way it's going to bounce. And you can kind of li line yourself up with the bounce. Base running diamond on, player name display on, scoreboard display, game log order, chronological. And that is my settings. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that I want. Presentation. Um, batter walk up. You can get, like, to grind faster, go to that. Um, uh, uh, camera. Wait, pitch selection cameras. Turn this off. Make sure this is on none. That way you can grind the game faster. Presentation mode, hybrid. Uh, let's do fast play presentation mode. Go to none there. I haven't done road to the show grinding yet, so fast play, none. Uh, those are the better ones there. Audio visual, really depends on what you like. Music volume, uh, if you like the music, you can leave it high. Sound effects, crowd volume. Depends on really what you want to uh, uh, hear when you're playing. Um, sound effects, PA volume, commentary. Like I don't know if you guys want commentary when you, when you uh, are listening. Commentary is generally like meh in the game. Road to the show, continuous music, defensive music, music rebar. So if you're streaming, you want to have your music off, obviously. Um, so that way you won't get copyright striked. 
stuff like that you want to think about mode specific stuff critical situations auto 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 these are like franchise stuff and, and whatnot and you want to do this for your franchise and and, and, and and save but anyways that is the settings hope you guys enjoyed